Hi everyone, welcome back to my web journey and welcome to another video. This video is for the first year veterinary students who are facing difficulty in studying veterinary anatomy. I have received a lot of messages from you guys that you are facing difficulty in studying anatomy. So here is the video. I hope it's helpful for you. So without wasting your time, let's get started. I can completely understand and relate with your situation because when I was new in first year I too faced difficulty in anatomy because it's completely new to me and I made a lot of a lot of mistakes so here are some tips which can be useful for you to study veterinary anatomy the very first thing is try to understand the concepts with the help of diagrams for example if you want to study the boundaries of various cavities in the body of cattle so you have one option that is you can read from the book and you learn it the second option you have is you can see the diagram anatomical diagram of cattle you can locate the various cavities and you can easily remember the cavities and the boundaries with the help of diagrams you will get a clear picture of the concept of the topic which you are studying and uh, it will save your time also because from the diagrams it's easy to study the second thing is revision so basically revision is very 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 important you need to revise the topics again and again because you can easily forget it so revise the things again and again now coming to the third tip that is pay attention during practical classes so practical classes are so important because whatever you studying in the theory part the practical classes will give you a clearer picture of that For example you have read scapula in the theory classes so in the scapula there are so many structures like acromion process subscapular fossa etc so you will read it from the book but during practical classes you will actually see the bone and when you see the bone you can easily locate the different structures which is present in the bone and it will give you a clear idea what actually you are studying and where are the things located and how it's it's there in the real bone So practical classes are really important so don't skip it. The fourth tip is try to make flow charts and diagrams and tables. So flow charts and table are very important and very useful at the time of exams because there are so many topics and uh, if you make flow chart it will be easy for you to remember also and to revise also. For example you have studied humerus so you make a table of various species and you write the structures which are absent or present in various species. uh it will be helpful for you during the time of revision and uh, likewise you can uh, make flow charts and tables for various other topics moreover you can also refer to rk ghosh book for studying any topic in veterinary anatomy and at the last don't worry at all because with the passage of time everything will be easy for you and you will be able to learn easily so that's all in this video thank you so much for watching i am on instagram also by my vet journey and i have a telegram channel also the name is my vet journey link is in the description you can check it out so that's all thank you so much for watching see you in the next video till then take care bye